What is going on guys? This is Mr. Spade here and we're back with some more moon gameplay once again This time we're not gonna be going to the moon as probably you would not have guessed We're going to be staying in area 51 and I'm going to be showing you the ultimate starting strategy for how you get set up Very well this strategy makes sure that you will not die at the very beginning as easily You're set up with juggernaut already you can have some more points at the end and it's just overall a great strategy but be warned this strategy is not for the faint-hearted. If you are not good at zombies, do not attempt this strategy. You will die very quickly, and you will not be able to survive very long. This is for the strategy for those beasts, the ninjas as zombies. The guys who are very knowledgeable about how zombies work, and they can easily escape the zombies without much trouble at all. So, the main basis behind this idea is you need to stay in Area 51 and try and get Juggernog as quickly as possible. You want to try and get Juggernog before you teleport to the moon. Now, this may seem like an impossible task, but don't fret, my friends. My friends and I, we have figured out a strategy that works very well and makes it fairly simple, actually. This took us a while to perfect this, so that's why it took us so long to get this video out. And I apologize, this strategy has been out probably for about a week now. People have known about this, but I'm just going to show you my perspective and how I made it fairly easy for most people. So, the way you do this is you have one person, aka me, running the rape train down here. This is the train that you have of zombies, the Congo line, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. So, you have that Congo line of zombies, you have that rape train, you have the kiting strategy, whatever you want to call it. And this guy, he's going to be the point farmer. He's going to try and get points as quickly as possible using all 40 bullets in his gun and using his grenades and his knife to the best of his advantages. So you want to try and get as many points as possible so you can buy juggly, jug, juggly. You can buy juggly, guys. <laughs> you can buy juggernaut as quickly as possible so that the other guys can come down here and farm their points. Once the guy down here has enough points, he's going to switch positions with the guys up top. That's where everyone else is going to be who is not running the kite train down here. You want to have them up top near the teleporter pad and as far back into the teleporter pad area as possible. This makes it so that when I run through with my rape train, those zombies do not come up into that teleport pad area if you're as far back as possible. It makes it very difficult to kill people up there and there's not a lot of room. Unless you have Juggernog, it makes it very difficult to knife people up here as you can barely escape and there's a lot of tight corners. So, you want to make sure as many zombies as possible are down in that main area and there are none up here if you can manage it. The guys who are farming the points are always going to be down into that main pack-a-punch area and doing the kiting. The guys who are just trying to stay alive and fight for themselves are going to be up here near the teleporter. The main thing you want to realize with this strategy is that there are two perks that can spawn at the very beginning of the game. They are going to be either Speed Cola or Juggernaut. They will spawn in the exact same spot every single time and it's random every single time you play the map. If you do not get Juggernaut at the beginning of the game, do not fret. You can just restart the game and then uh, come back in and maybe hopefully Juggernaut will be there. You don't want Speed Cola there. You need to make sure Juggernaut is there. Otherwise, this strategy will not work very well at all. You don't want Speed Cola to be there. It's not useful in the beginning of the game. It costs more money, and it just makes for an overall more irritating way to do the strategy. You need to have Juggernaut at the beginning. It makes it very easy uh, to survive once you get to the moon, and it sets you up fairly nicely for the rest of the game. You can have more money to buy other stuff other than Juggernaut, like the box. You can have more money for the doors. You can have more money to for guns and survival, and everyone always loves that doesn't they? So, last thing I want to mention before I end this strategy video is you have to watch out for the astronauts, aka the bosses, when you get to the moon. Since you already have Juggernaut, you need to make sure you're watching out for those bosses because they will grab you, they will grab you by the nutsack, they will pull it up really goddamn hard, and they will teleport you and steal your freaking perk. You don't want that at all. The way I deal with astronauts in the beginning of a game usually is I just knife the crap out of them. I don't care if I get teleported or anything like that. But that will not work for the strategy at all because you already have a perk. If you, they get, if you get close and personal and you try and knife them, they will just steal the crap out of your perk. And that's not good because you worked your ass off to get it. You don't want to lose it now. So my suggestion is just stay away from them until you have good enough guns to take them down. Better Something better than a pistol and a knife, preferably. Hope the strategy guide was helpful for you guys. As I said, this is for the more skilled zombie player. If you're not going to achieve this strategy or you don't think you can achieve it, sorry, then you need to make sure that Speed Cola spawns at the beginning, not Juggernaut, because then next time you go back to Area 51, Juggernaut will be there so you can buy it then. Hope this strategy was helpful, and I'll see you later.